Hello, welcome to Texture with. In this session, we will discuss one more toolbar option of Access Client solution, which is Macros. So there are multiple tabs or buttons for Macros. First one is this Record Macro. Second one is Stop Playing or Recording mac Macros. Third one is Play Macro, and fourth one is Pause Playing Record Macros. Okay. So let me tell you the uh, exact meaning of Macros. So let's say if uh, if we record some actions that we are performing on IBM I system and <coughs> then whenever there is a requirement to recreate or reperform all those operations then we can click on macros means we can play that macro which we have recorded and it will perform the same operation that we just did uh, that we have already per uh, recorded okay so let me show you one example for this so let's say uh, whenever I log into my system I go and hit the command work MBR PDM then I go for strsql str sql then i run one query select star from star from share myth one slash still here okay and after that i provide my file name so this operation is frequent for me like i always go and perform these operations so instead of performing it again and again i will record a macro for this so let's see how to record this so to record the macro just click on this macro button from here just go and give some name to this I will give name it as uh, test macro okay test SQL description macro for test SQL and so this is the name and this is the description of my macro now I will click on OK it will give one information hotspots will be disabled while recording a macro once the recording stops hotspots will be enabled automatically now click on ok again now whatever the action i will perform here it will be recorded as macro so i will hit the command work mbr pdm hit enter here i will hit the command str sql now i will write how query select star from shermit1 slash till here and here I will stop the macro so you can see there is one option stop playing or recording macros I will stop it it is stopped okay now what we will do suppose now I want to perform the same operation okay so this time I will go and click on play macro look for my uh, macro which is test SQL and click on ok so once I click on ok you can see it perform all the operation in a very quick way and it directly take me to this option we didn't hit any command it automatically perform all these operation and take me to this and where I can directly simply provide my file name which is emppf and it will emppf and it will perform the same operation which we were doing previously so this is the advantage of using macros you can automate many operations of yours uh, through uh, macros and it will record your fun uh, means your keyboard work uh, all the operation that you are performing it will record it and whenever there is a need to recreate the process you can simply glow uh, you can simply go to this option for playing the mac macro and it will play the macro for you so all four uh, buttons are clear means uh, first one is for recording the macro second one is for stopping the macro recording third one is for play so in play you will find list of all macros that you have created so far okay and then we have one option for pause the macro so if let's say if you are recording something and you want to pause it so you can pause the macros as well so yeah this is very good feature of uh, IBM X client solution and uh, there is one detailed session for also for this same operation so you can search on the same channel like uh, how to use macros it will provide you one session there you can see some other examples as well so I hope it is clear to all of you. In the next portion, we will discuss few more things. So thank you for watching TechShare with me.